What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today in this video guys, I'm going to give you guys my top three picks for this bull run. This video is going to entail three coins. It's very, it was a hard decision to make, but these are going to be my top three coins. I will give some honorable mentions uh, that I'm looking at as well. Um, of course, this does not include Ethereum. Ethereum is my number one, like, hey, look, this is, this is it. Um, even though it may not go up as much, it's just one of those like, hey, this is tried and true. I'm going with Ethereum. If you guys are new to the channel, I'm a massive eth head, uh, but I love Ethereum. So we're not even going to talk about Ethereum. We're just going to leave that one on the side. That one didn't even get thrown into the calculation, but Ethereum is the number one in my opinion. But we're going to go over the top three coins and we'll give some honorable mentions. Guys, this is all my opinion. This is not financial advice. Like 99.99999% thousand percent, I'm sorry, of the time, I'm always wrong. Like all the time. So these are just my picks. Someone was just asking what my picks are and I'm just going to tell you. My very first one, like, hey, this is it, um, is, well, man, it was going between Cosmos and Terra, uh, but it's Terra. Terra, dude, I love Terra, man. Um, Terra is just like one of those things, like I'm not really betting on the coins. Well, actually the coins are pretty awesome, but I'm betting on Do Quan. Guys, when you look at these ecosystems, you got to pick the people you guys are looking for because they're the brains behind all this madness. You want to look for a good team, good ideas, good concepts, but this actually has a real world use case. It's not really vaporware. Like worst case scenario, people are still going to use Chai payments. They're still going to use UST in other countries, especially over in Korea. I mean, it's like even the Cracker race car wallet token. Everyone loves the KRW. I mean, it's massive. It's fun. It's basically a stable coin that's over in Korea, just so you guys can understand that. But people need Chai payments and they need banking over there. Uh, they don't have that over there. And well, Anchor Protocol, the Terra ecosystem, that unlocks that for them. So that allows that whole entire nation to be able to function and do what it needs to do. And outside of that, the DeFi is just amazing on Terra. Um, Terra, basically the, De the DeFi that, I keep calling it the DeFi. I feel like a boomer. Wait, I guess I am a boomer. Am I 47? Yeah, I'm 47. Anyways, the point is DeFi on Terra is just amazing. Like it's literally specified for DeFi on that chain. They got so many other protocols coming. They got tons of airdrops coming. So it's like massive price pumpage um, because the way the tokenomics are run. You guys are asking about the tokens with the most price appreciation for this bull run. In my opinion, Terra is going to be one of them. The second one is, well, Cosmos. You guys already heard about Cosmos. Why am I so bullish on Cosmos? Well, you got Cosmos built on Cosmos. You got Crypto.com, Thorchain, Kava. You got Terra. You got Osmosis. Uh, you got Fetch AI, Persistence One, Ban. I know I'm skipping over a couple of them because I really haven't looked into those. But the point is, there's so much junk going on on this, and I love it. I mean, I didn't even mention Mirror Protocol, but that's over on Terra. That allows people over in other countries that can't even use the stock market to, well, use the stock market. Welcome to crypto. But the point is, guys, I'm super bullish on Cosmos. It's got infinite scalability, in my opinion. Um, I made a video explaining that, but the TLDR on it is this. I'm sure you guys have made an Ethereum transaction fee, and you're like, bro. I was just trying to send $10 to someone and it ended up costing me like 200 bucks. What the pants? So with Cosmos, instead of having all that congestion on that one chain, it splits it up. So like Terra Luna, they can make all their validations, all their transactions, whatever they want to do over there. Then you got Sif Chain doing all their junk. You got Crypto.com doing all their junk. You got Thorchain doing all their junk and it's not affecting the main chain. So this guy, this highway, it's only for pristine cars, Rolls Royces and all that junk. The other guys, go ahead, run your Cadillac, your Civic, Honda, to have fun over there. But on this main chain, we just have Rolls over here. So it gets rid of the congestion on there. And if it looks to expand and get more and more protocols, well, that doesn't bring the heft onto the main chain. That's on those other chains. So they may experience some congestion over there, but it's nothing on the main chain. So maybe they need to work out their scalability or interoperability or their 
speeds on the transactions, et cetera. They have to figure that out with their block time. Like Osmosis was constantly congested, especially in the beginning, but they figured out, hey, we need to increase the block size. We need to do this, this, and this. And they obviously fixed that. But the point is, Cosmos has infinite scalability. There's only so much you can throw on a chain. That way, if you have it on different chains, it splits it up. And I know you guys are saying, well, that's what Polkadot's doing. Well, Polkadot doesn't have infinite scalability because there's a limited number of parachains. You get my drift? Uh, but I do like Polkadot. Um, I relay Polkadot like this. Polkadot's gonna be your mall. Um, you have so many shops and stores, but that mall is only so big to contain them all. And Cosmos is just like the open roads with restaurants. Build any restaurants you want. Come, there's plenty of spaces, go for it. And they can open and close at any time they want. If you aren't following the polka dot rules in the parachain, well, that ain't gonna work. Sorry, we close at 10. You're closing down today. Okay, uh, but anyways, um, Cosmos, number two. Third is Phantom. I've been doing a lot of videos on Phantom, but I love DAGs. And the reason why I like this DAG is because this one gets faster and faster and faster as there's more transactions on the chain. There's a lot going on on Phantom. Uh, the reason why I chose Phantom over like Avalanche or any of the other tokens is because, well, I've been in the community. I've talked with a bunch of the members. Um, man, dude, it's like buddy buddy in there. It is, well, I guess this isn't buddy buddy. Buddy buddy's like, or whatever, I don't even know. Uh, but it's like buddy buddy over there. It's awesome. Um, like if one protocol goes down, everyone's like, oh snap, what can we do to help? Instead, on like Binance Smart Chain or Ethereum, it's like, oh, you're down? Awesome. Guys, come over here. We're having a token sale. Come on. And just stealing them instead of helping them out. It's like, bro, really? It, over at Phantom, they want the whole entire ecosystem to be good. So they're like, oh, Spooky Swap, you're doing that over there? All right, Spear Swap, we're going to do this and we're going to help you out. We're going to provide liquidity for your tokens over here. We're going to help you out. It's like buddy, buddy. It's like win-win. It's awesome. I love it. But take a look into the ecosystem. And on top of that, guys, the transactions are great. Like, it's like no transaction fees. That's also why I didn't put Avalanche on there because I was tired of paying like two or three bucks a transaction. Yes, they did make the gas price change. But still, the point is like, bro, this kind of stinks. Phantom is like way cheaper. It's just like Matic, but it's layer one. And it's a DAG, guys. DAGs, they get faster and faster as more transactions are on chain. Something to keep in mind. And they have some serious partnerships, especially with a lot of major, major partnerships with different governments. Something to keep in mind. But I didn't tell you that. Not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. And you guys do what you want. These are my top three picks. Well, let me go ahead and give you guys the list of honorable mentions. Yeah, there's a lot. I can't even get them on this paper. I'm just kidding, guys. Uh, these are just a couple of them that are some honorable mentions. Just for price pumpage is Cardano. Um, I know, I call it Trash Dano a lot, but it's gonna have some price pumpage. So many people speculating on it. Gotta give you that. But after the bull run, nah, that thing's gonna go zip, pop, in my opinion. Then you got Polkadot. Polkadot, I love Polkadot, but they got some issues they need to fix, um, especially being that there's only a limited amount. And I've already spoke about my issues. I don't really need to talk about them. Um, yeah, I know I have some serious issues, but so does Polkadot. Uh, but anyways, the point is, is well, Polkadot, they need to start launching stuff too. Um, Kusama's got some stuff going. I, I, I really like Kusama as well, but Cosmos is already rolling. They got first mover advantage, but as always, time will tell because Polkadot, they got a lot of money and money can cover a lot of junk. Cosmos is kind of like one of those things like, hey bro, I'll buy you a burger if you do this for me. Polkadot's like... Oh, bro, thanks so much. Here's your salary of $100 million. Uh, let's go eat some steak tonight. <laughs> Polkadot's got some serious cash. Um, yeah, just, they got cash. Just, that's all you need to know. And then Alpha Finance. I really love Alpha Finance. Um, I've already made a couple of videos. These are just mentions. I'm not really going to do deep dives on them. Uh, Dodo. I love Dodo X. It's like one inch. Uh, you got Engine. If you guys don't know what Engine is, it's basically like gaming, NFT. I'm a massive gamer, so that's also why I picked Sand. Um, sand is, it's literally just S A N D sand. It's a metaverse token similar to like, um, Minecraft, uh, avalanche. I do like avalanche as well. Um, so I, I do have this one as an honorable mention. Cello gold. 
I like Cello. No one really talks about Cello. I tried the DeFi on there. Yeah, I said it. the DeFi. But the DeFi over there is great. Thorchain, Rune. Yes, they had some hacks, but don't sleep on Rune. And DAG, like Constellation. I love DAGs, but Constellation's got some serious partnerships. Make sure you guys take a look into them. Um, I made a deep dive video on them like two months ago, three months ago or something like that. Whatever. Just type in DAG on my channel. You'll be able to find it. Anyways, guys, not financial advice. Those are my top three picks out of a, outside of Ethereum, obviously. We got Terra. We got Phantom. And we got Cosmos. That's no particular order. But anyways, we're going to leave you guys with a wisdom one liner. Private chapter 17 versus 20. One whose heart is corrupt does not prosper. One whose tongue is perverse falls into trouble that's so true man so true especially that dude i know there's so many times like i, I talk a lot there's so many times where i just say so much and i'm like it's like throw up it's like dude just stop talking um sometimes you just kind of like destroy yourself um i do it to myself all the time um yeah but I, I'm on I'm doing a YouTube video, so it's like maybe you guys talk. You guys should start talking this time. But it, seriously, though, uh, if you guys want me to cover something, leave a comment in the description below. Um, I'll cover any video that you guys want. I'll take a look into it. Obviously, if it's not like some like shill on a coin or something, it's like, hey, do this project because it's like, oh, yeah, it's the biggest thing. I mean, it's not a promise I'll do it, but I'll take a look at it. And if it's interesting and it's a good concept, I'll, I'll do a deep dive on it. Um, and if you guys enjoyed the video, if I brought any value, like, subscribe, bell button, and leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Do you think it's going to be Terra, Cosmos, or Phantom? Or do you think it's just like something entirely different than what I mentioned? Just let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Gotta say thanks to the patrons, Sean Bot, Dom Man, Tariq Liu, T.O. King, JP, PJ, Bernito, Dagonacho, Matthias, Matt There Is, DMC Coats, Isn't That a Band, Pork Ryan, Oh, snap. Ruslav Alexandrovich. Don't mess with the Russian, boys. Dogs. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. If you want to catch me on TikTok, I do daily wisdom one-liners and let you guys see the pets and behind-the-scenes junk. So here it is. Scan it. Check it out. Bomb, bomb. All right, so next off, guys, if you guys want to support the channel and get paid to do it, you guys can check out Celsius. Celsius is fire, dude. So what's so cool about Celsius is, guys, first off, you can get $40 in free BTC using my referral link in the description below. Just deposit 100 bucks. Add in the uh, code BTC50. You will also get an additional $50 if you deposit $400, guys. It's free BTC. Next is Voyager, guys. I also got a referral link in the description below. Instead of just only getting $25, you'll get $25 and some free VGX tokens, guys. Next is BlockFi. BlockFi is part of the quadruple threat. Go ahead and make a deposit. Use this referral link in the description below. You get $100. Depending on how much you deposit, you can get all the way up to, guess how much? 250 bucks. All right, so what the pants is Celsius and BlockFi for? Well, you can use both of those as like your bank. They get some pretty nice juicy yields. And Voyager is more so like trading, and it gets some juicy yields as well. And the last one to try is Crypto.com, guys. You can trade some like smaller altcoins, and you guys will get $25 in CRO once you guys get the Visa card. Why do I like the Visa card? Well, you can sell crypto and buy some junk with it so i can buy a sandwich with my crypto i don't use btc but i'll use like stable coins and junk so anyways if you guys want to support the channel that's a quadruple threat thanks for tuning in guys you'll get paid to do it